Okay, a lot to cover. We've got some breaking news. Actor and musician Jussie Smollett from the hit show Empire was attacked and beaten early this morning in Chicago. This is horrible to report. Danny, this is a horrible story, no matter what kind of uh, attack or crime it was. Yeah, you may have already told us, but I'm so shaken by the story I forgot. Uh, I know he walked himself to the hospital. Do we know how he is now? I like this is a horrible story. Yeah. Two suspects who were apparently wearing Make America Great Again hats. I'm disgusted by people who wear hats that say MAGA. Make America Great Again? I don't like that it's being put out there in the media that this is a right. possible yeah. hate crime. Right. And the media has really cast so much doubt on his story, which I find so personally offensive. It's coming from the President of the United States. He's dog whistling every day. I mean, the circumstances wow. are just horrific. Mm. And this is America in 2019. The list of those who went public with their outrage over the attack ranges from Moonlight director Barry Jenkins, who tweeted, This is what all the hateful mongering has wrought. Are you proud? To actress Ellen Page, who blamed Vice President Mike Pence. It feels impossible to you not feel to this way right now with yeah. the president and the vice president, Mike Pence, who like wishes I couldn't be married. Let's just be clear. Connect the dots. This is what happens. If you are in a position of power and you hate people, and you want to cause suffering to them. You go through the trouble. You spend your career trying to cause suffering. What do you think is going to happen? When the story first broke and Jesse Smollett claimed he was attacked, there was no corroborating evidence, but that did not stop or even slow down the rush to judgment. 2020 Democratic presidential candidates weighed in immediately. Senators Cory Booker and Kamala Harris both called it, quote, an attempted modern day lynching. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand said, quote, we are all responsible for condemning this behavior and every person who enables or normalizes it. And freshman Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted, quote, this attack was not possibly homophobic. It was a racist and homophobic attack. And despite being caught red handed in more than one rush to judgment in recent weeks, the media also had no problem declaring it a hate crime. The New York Times, quote, Jesse Smollett, one of the stars of the television show Empire, was attacked in Chicago by two assailants who yelled racial and homophobic slurs. American Urban Radio Network's White House reporter April Ryan tweeted, quote, this attack attack on Jesse Smollett is a hate crime and should be treated as such. GQ magazine added, quote, the racist homophobic attack on Jesse Smollett is far right America's end game. Nancy Pelosi deleted a tweet expressing sympathy for him. In the tweet, she called the attack an affront to our humanity and said, I pray that Jesse has a speedy recovery and that justice is served. But Harris wouldn't say whether she regrets reacting to the Jesse Smollett case by tweeting, quote, this was an attempted modern day lynching. Which tweet? What tweet? Uh, the, about uh, saying that it is a modern day lynching that, um, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Jesse Smollett. Um, I, I, okay, so I will say this about that case. I think that the facts are still unfolding and um, I'm very um, concerned. About it's barbaric. Mm -hmm. It really is. I mean, in this day and age, come on, it's got to stop. Yeah. He's a lovely person. No one deserves any of this. No. And it's, it's terrifying. No, it's scary. It's just scary. It's, it's crazy because to me, this is like domestic terrorism, terrorizing our own people with this hatred. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, this makes me so sick. You know, and it's just such a wake-up call. I know we see stories like this all the time, but you do fool yourself that you're safe in our world. You get in your own bubble around your friends, around the people you know in your area, and it's just um, a shocking, horrible reminder that any of us can be a victim of this kind of hate. Two white men in ski masks brutally attacked him, calling him the F word and the N word. Reportedly, they fractured his rib, put a noose around his neck, and poured bleach on him. Pretty awful. I was bruised, but my ribs were not cracked. It's so terrifying because 
you, you don't know what was going through his head when this was happening, and he might have thought this was his last moment. So totally terrifying. What's, what's terrible is uh, it feels like we're living in the 60s and the 50s again. We thought we pretty much thought racism had come a long way when uh, President Barack Obama was president. But the, by then, the way, it had. Yeah, it, it had, but but, but then, back but then the hatred. Yeah. So so if you really want to get into that, you want yeah. you want to build a wall for somebody, build a wall for some of the white nationalists and supremacists in this country, and keep them out because. You know, is, is they making racism okay again? Essentially, terrorism, and you wonder like how deep it goes. You know, life is spiritual warfare, mm. and we're seeing it <laughs> um, right before our very eyes. So, you know, you just have to stay close to what you know. Jesse is love. That's mm. who he is, and that's all he knows. So, in this situation, hate won't win. Mm -hmm. It will not. What kind of words of encouragement did you give him? Um, I just told him to walk in his truth, you yeah. know, um, just to stay the Jesse that everybody loves. And you saw the outpour of love that he had. So he has touched a lot of people. I told him, just walk in your truth, baby. No mm -hmm. one can take that from you. They say anyone not blinded by bias or panic should have been skeptical of Smollett's story from the beginning. He openly harbors an intense hatred for Donald Trump and his supporters, going so far as comparing them to Klansmen. That his alleged attackers perfectly fit this description should have raised eyebrows across the political spectrum. The cartoony screenplay villain portrayal of white Trump supporters was outrageously comical.
we just instantly say that's what it is based on what we see in that moment and then have to walk stuff back when it turns out we're wrong why is that why is do we keep making the same mistake because we're, we're desperate to get Trump out of office. 